A patient comes in with an area of concern on her tongue. She's worried that it might be cancer. Is this oral cancer? What does it look like? And how do we diagnose it? Today on The Open Reduction. Welcome to The Open Reduction, your channel, everything oral and maxillofacial surgery. I'm Dr. Tom Bolton, and today we're talking about the workup of a tongue lesion. This patient is a 75-year-old female who first noticed something different on her tongue about two months ago. It never hurt, but it never went away either, and now she's starting to get concerned. She has a smoking history, but she quit over 30 years ago. Otherwise, her health and social histories are unremarkable. I took a look, and this is what I saw. There is a well-defined lesion on the right lateral tongue, measuring about 7 millimeters in diameter. It is erythroleukoplakic, or red and white. The site is not indurated and the floor of her mouth is soft. She also has one enlarged palpable lymph node in her right neck. So does this lesion look like oral cancer? Well, there are a few things about it that are red flags and there's a few things that may point to something else. First, let's talk about what oral cancer looks like. It's a tough thing to describe because cancer comes in many different forms in the mouth. It can be exophytic, meaning that it has the appearance of a mass growing. It can also be endophytic, meaning that it is growing inwards and is invasive. The color can be leukoplakic or white. It can also be erythroplakic or red. It can even be erythroleukoplakic, meaning it is red and white. Now, this lesion is relatively small, measuring only 7 millimeters in diameter. It is also well defined, meaning that the borders are easy to delineate. There is no induration or adjacent inflammation but there are some red flags as well. This lesion is erythroleukoplakic, which is more concerning than a leukoplakic lesion for oral cancer. She also has a swollen lymph node, which could be incidental and unrelated, but it could also mean that there is a cancerous growth that is spreading. So what's the next step? How do we determine whether or not this is oral cancer? Do we A, order additional imaging, B, perform an incisional biopsy, C, perform an excisional biopsy, or D, perform a brush biopsy. While you're thinking about it, please take a minute to click that like button and also subscribe to the channel, The Open Reduction. By hitting these buttons, you're letting me know that you're benefiting from this content, and it also helps this content reach more people. So what's the next step? How do we determine whether or not this is oral cancer? If you said B, then you're correct. The next step is to perform an incisional biopsy, meaning that we remove a portion of the lesion, but not the entire lesion. Why remove only a portion? If this does turn out to be cancer, I want the surgical oncologist to know where the lesion is so that they can remove it in its entirety along with adjacent tissue to get clean margins. If I remove it in its entirety and it does come back as cancer, then the surgical oncologist has no idea exactly where the lesion was and it's very difficult to get clean margins. I performed an incisional biopsy and unfortunately, this lesion did come back as squamous cell carcinoma, the most common form of oral cancer. The fact that this was a relatively small lesion doesn't mean that this couldn't be cancer. This lesion was small superficially, but it had an invasive depth of six millimeters, which is actually a more concerning prognostic value than the superficial diameter. I referred this patient to a surgical oncology team. She was treated with a surgical resection and a selective neck dissection which did reveal one lymph node that was positive for cancer. This means she will require chemotherapy and radiation therapy as well. Thanks so much for watching. Please click those like and subscribe buttons and check out the other videos on my channel to learn about all kinds of topics on oral and maxillofacial surgery. I'm Dr. Tom Bolton. I'll catch you next time on The Open Reduction.